Okay, this is literally the same video, just part two. So I'm showing you guys my perfume collection and this is the second half. So going on with the Chanel's, um, I have Coco Eau de Toilette by Chanel. This to me, okay, I'm, oh my God, I'm getting really scared. I feel like my perfumes are starting to smell faint. I'm gonna, after this video, I'm gonna put all of my perfumes back in their boxes because this is a lot of money and you have to take care of your perfumes and you have to make sure that they're being taken care of because I'm smelling them. Oh no. And I can smell them, but I know my perfumes. Oh my god. No. Whatever. Okay. Coco Eau de Toilette Chanel, right? This one um, smells really, really good. Um, this is one that kind of clashes with temperatures here in Arizona because it's so hot here. Um, this one's really, like, heavy, but it's usually very um, powerful but I can barely smell it anymore. But anyways, this one, um, I forgot the notes. It smells older, for sure. It's a lot more mature than the Chance ones. It's heavier, it's muskier. Man, I'm so sad. Mm, I'm like really sad. Um, but anyway, I really like this one a lot. Um, it's just kind of hard to wear here in Arizona. I feel like I'd, I would be wearing this so much more in a place that it snows or where it's like really, really, really freezing cold. I feel like there's just certain perfumes like this one and Versace Noir that they're just so spicy or they're just so like powerful that our winters here, they're just a joke. So they wouldn't be able to handle these perfumes as well as a place like that. The next one I have is Fantasy by Britney Spears. Um, I'm surprised that I have this one. Every time I mention this in a video or something, um, like even I'm surprised myself because it's, oh my God, what is happening with my perfumes? It doesn't want to, <gasps> what's wrong? Anyway, here. <gasps> you guys, keep your perfumes in the freaking boxes. This is so sad, I can't smell it. It went bad. I think it went bad. Anyways, the reason why I have this one, this one went bad. My perfumes are going bad. Certain ones are going bad. I wonder if it's because I've had some for a little over a year. I don't know. Okay, so about this one. This is an oldie. I remember gifting this perfume when I was in eighth grade to one of my best friends. And I thought it smelled really good. Um, this is Fantasy by Britney Spears. It has cupcake in it as a note. That's all I remember. It is pretty sweet, but it's also has like a kind of a complex fla uh, flavor scent and um the other like i want to say about a year ago i was getting my hair cut and my hair done and everything and I, so i was at the salon and i obviously could smell because i was getting highlights and stuff like that and i could smell like all the hair products and they're really really strong like you know like the bleach and the hair dye and all that stuff along with that smell i was smelling something else and i didn't know what it was it wasn't until i was there for like an hour that i was like what is that smell and i asked my hairstylist like what smells so good i wasn't sure if it was like a hair product or something but it smells so good she was wearing a uh, fantasy by britney spears and i was like no way like that is such like a uh, cheapy like it's like a cheap perfume and I don't remember it smelling that way, but because in combination with all of the other products that were there, 
it smells so good it smells so 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 good so i got it and i wore it a few times but now it's going bad i'll probably throw that out okay so gold couture jeremy put me on this he just kept going on and on and on about this perfume that i got myself a little one ounce and i don't regret it actually it smells really good it has caramel but it's a very light golden caramel it's not too sweet it's not like cakey or anything like that um this is my gym perfume like when i used to go which i'm gonna start going again this is my gym perfume and i find that so weird because i would think that i would go with something a little bit more fresh to the to the gym no this is my this is my go-to perfume oh my god this actually smells like blueberry like caramelized blueberries that sounds weird huh this smells so good and this is so strong okay so then i think maybe my other perfumes are going bad because i've had them for too long because if this is still strong and it's juicy couture and it's been out then yeah i think we're good i think we're good okay but yeah this smells bomb this is definitely up there oh my gosh this smells so good okay so the next one is my wedding fragrance kate spade new york it has strawberry it smells like strawberries and champagne very elegant light and a little bit of sweet it's like the perfect combination i love it we literally just take it out to smell it my husband and i we'll just like take it out spray it on us and it just takes us back amazing fragrance this is a beautiful fragrance even like for every day this kind of reminds me like it gives me like um chanel vibes you know so just because it's so clean and fresh but it has like that little strawberry in it i tried the new sparkle one which is like a blue one it's like a flanker of this one and i don't like it at all no girl i don't like it okay another one that i like is ocean de joa by Giorgio armani it's the blue one okay i, I need to spray these because i can't smell them oh my gosh it smells like pear it smells like pear like if you're drinking like an alcoholic pear fruity drink by the ocean, this is what it smells like. Very fresh and crisp. Um, this is such a good fragrance like for, I haven't worn it that much, just a little bit. Um, the only thing about this one is that it's so fresh that i wear it mostly like when i'm hot or something like that um it is it is a little boring it's a little basic it smells good but i think the reason why i don't wear it that much is because sometimes i feel like it's a little too boring and sometimes i want like a little bit of pizzazz or i want to smell myself being a little bit more sweet or a little bit more luxe like i feel like this is like I love having this one in my collection just because I feel like it's so clean. This is literally like fresh out of the shower too. Vibes and like, I don't know. I like it, but it's not like my favorite favorite. It's not my favorite. Um, This one's Lane's, Lane, Lane Stunt. Oh, girl Lane. Oh, it's Toilet. Okay. I feel like a lot of people don't like this one. And I can understand. But I will say that this to me smells so much better than Insolence by Guerlain. Insolence to me smells like heavy, like too sweet, too powdery. I think this is the perfect combination of powdery sweetness and it smells a little bit like, like makeup. So it's kind of like, like all those three things combined together. It smells really, really good um i wore this a lot you can see that's a pretty big dent for a perfume like this it smells really good especially like after getting out of the shower just spraying this on and going to sleep oh my gosh and it's, and it's pretty sweet um i know it has a lot of powder i believe this has iris or like violet i don't know but it smells really really good i have three more 
I have Irresistible by Givenchy. Um, this, why are they not snowing? Usually when I take off the cap and... No. Oh no, did this one go bad? I haven't even had this for like, oh, no, I've had it for a full year. I think a year and a half. This one used to be way stronger. This one's good. Haven't used it that much. Um, I don't reach for this one that much because I feel like I just, it's not that special. It smells really good. It's just not that special. I feel like this is such a vacation perfume. I will do like a series of like perfumes that I would wear on vacation and stuff. Um, this is such a vacation perfume, like kind of like this one. I would take this one on vacation. Um, the reason why I know about this perfume is because I was working one day and I had a patient. She had a full fresh tan. She had some sunglasses and it was like in the middle of summer and she smelled like sunscreen, but she also smelled like really good, like something else. She looked like she was just like she had just flown back from Cancun or something. And I asked her like what perfume she was wearing because it was it was so strong, but it smelled so good. And it was this one, Irresistible by Givenchy. And so I got it, but I just never reached for it because I never, I don't think that, hmm. this one went bad, I think, or it's going bad. Because I remember this one and it smells strong. But yeah, I never picked it up because I feel like maybe I just didn't like it enough. Hmm. It has like a leathery note. This one's confusing. Even I don't know within myself why I don't reach for it. It smells really good. It's just like, again, I have other perfumes in my collection that I very much prefer. Which goes to show that I might sell it. I might sell it. Okay. Um, then I also have La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. La Belle. The juice used to be a different color, but let's see how this smells again. Um, it smells like peach cobbler. I always... That totally went bad. That totally went bad. So then some of my perfumes are going bad. See, this is why I don't keep more than 25 because there's no possible way to go through so many of them. Not only that, but I'm gonna... This one went bad, so I'm gonna throw this one away. But anyway, um, this one smells like peach cobbler. It smells really good. You can see how much I've used of it. It's a little dent. Um, it's not one that I reached for a lot. It's a gorgeous bottle. It's a very, very gorgeous bottle. It's just that, I don't know, it's, it has a vetiver and I forgot what else, and it smells really good, like very complex, but um, I just, I'm telling you, I don't even know sometimes, yeah. This one disappeared quickly, I remember. That's why I didn't keep wearing it, because I would put it on and then I had to reapply it. It would disappear so much. Okay, the next one is Central Instinct by Montal. This is another one I wore maybe like a couple times and it's such a sad story. It's so sad that I only wore this twice because Montal is so expensive. Like, if you're going to buy a Montal perfume, you better love that perfume because these are very expensive. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I feel like this one's expiring anyways. Um, the reason why I got it is because it smells... I got it in a sample one time as a gift and... Um, Oh my gosh, I went through that sample so fast. It smells so good. And this is a beast. It's like, you spray a little bit, you have to be really careful because I believe these are like Arabian-inspired perfumes. 
and I know it's going bad because um, usually this this would make me like drown if I the way did you see how I sprayed it I sprayed it so so much and like I, I'm not even drowning or anything that's how I know it's going bad but usually Montel perfumes are like massive they're super massive beast smells and most of them have like oud in them if you don't know what that is it's just like a really heavy 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 smell very heavy smell it's very popular in the middle east to be wearing oud in your fragrances but um here in the west it's not taken very lightly it's very um noticeable when you're wearing oud and people can tell and we're very sensitive because I think here in the West people are more used to buying perfumes that are wearing perfumes that are heavy on the sweet side and then the Middle East they're kind of used to wearing perfumes that are heavy on the oud but anyway the only Montal aside from this one that I like is Intense Tiari I believe that's the name of it and it has Thierry, the Thierry flower. I want to get that one. I don't know why I didn't get that one instead of this one. I think it's because I couldn't find the other one. And this one, um, actually this one, I remember I didn't pay full price for this. This one, um, I got her off Mercari off of someone and, um, they were pretty generous at pricing it, um, for a decent, you know, price. I think the girl just didn't like it she just wanted to get rid of it so yeah um i think i have another one too it's dior oh, what is, it's poison what is it called the red one with the black cap i'm too lazy okay let's go get it but the reason why i didn't bring it is because i don't like this perfume i really don't like it um I'm gonna sell it for sure. It's in here. Oh, and then I also have Molecular One. Yeah. Okay. So, it's called Hypnotic Poison. Done. Okay. The one that I don't like is in the box. Oh my god, I don't even want to spray it. I'm not gonna spray it. I don't wanna spray it. Oh no 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 <laughs> This is what it looks like. I'm for sure gonna smell this before it goes bad. So someone else can enjoy it, whoever likes this perfume. <sighs> I bought this perfume last fall and um I was super into it. I got a sample, finished the sample. And then I picked up the perfume. I wore it twice and I was over it. I was so over it. Um, for personal reasons, I was not able to return it, nor did I think of returning it. I kind of just packed it up, put it away and never looked back. I cannot stand this perfume. It has licorice. And it's funny because when I was going through the um, through the sample, I was able to finish the sample pretty quickly. And I went through that like crazy and I was just like, like spraying it on me. I can't stand this perfume. I hate licorice, I hate it. If you guys know that perfume, Lolita Limpica, it's a really good perfume, beautiful. It smells so good, it smells so good. I just wish they took off the licorice because it smells so much, it smells so spicy. Like licorice is so spicy and it's weird because i love spicy food but as when it comes to wearing it on my body i don't like spicy i don't like licorice i don't like pet black i don't like pepper in my perfumes like i think it's just a lot of it has to do with the fact that i also live in arizona and those perfumes do not do well here i just don't like smelling like that like why do you want to smell like spicy no i understand i totally understand why it's just that my nose cannot handle it those are all of my perfumes we're done with my haul 
my haul, my perfume collection. I just wanted to show that. Um, and I don't know which one I'm gonna wear. This one smells good. Okay, I'm gonna choose a perfume for today. I'm either gonna wear this one or this one. I haven't worn this one in a while. Should I wear it? I feel like I'm gonna wear it. I'm so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear it. Wait, does... No, it's not spoiled, but... I've had this one for a long time. When it first came out. My perfumes are going bad. It's not as strong um, maybe I'll wear this one hmm you know how I know when my perfumes are going bad it's when um you can smell the alcohol first and then you smell the perfume and then the perfume is a little light that's how you know your perfumes are expiring anyways I'm gonna wrap this video up because it's already really long um, and yeah, bye guys.